Hello and welcome to Cat's Love and today I'm going back to my cat breed profile series to talk about the Arabian Mal. So let's get right into it. But wait, some people would rather actually get facts off Google rather than from cat experts. So let me answer some questions that I commonly found asked on Google and then I'm going to tell you some facts about the Arabian Mal. Oh my gosh, I cannot stand my hair at all. Alright, first question. Are Arabian Mouse friendly? Well, like most cat breeds, yeah, they are. And they are pretty friendly animals to other animals or people in the house if introduced gradually. Second question. What's the price for an Arabian Mal? Well, you might not be able to buy an Arabian Mal just because of how rare they are, but if you do find them, they can be priced between $500 and $800, which is pretty cheap for a rare cat. All right, now let me tell you some facts about the Arabian Mal. The Arabian Mal originated from domesticating a wild cat and well, Arabian, I mean, it kind of states in the name from the Arabian Peninsula. The Arabian Mal most likely originated in Saudi Arabia or the UAE. Fun fact, the wild cat that was domesticated into the Arabian Mal actually originated from Africa. But I'm guessing that the Arabian Mal, like the wild cat, uh, walked over uh, Egypt and over to the Arabian Panhandle and then that's where the Arabian Mal kinda got originated from. I don't really know though. Anyway, did you know that the Arabian Mal is one of the most rarest cats and probably one of the oldest I'll ever cover too, dating back 1,000 years ago? Plus, did you know that Mal actually stands for cat in Egyptian? Alright, now it's time for me to tell you about the history of the Arabian Mal. The Arabian Mal is actually the oldest desert cat breed. You can commonly find them roaming the streets of Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and the UAE. Speaking of Kuwait, next week's episode, I'm actually going to be talking about the street cats that roam Kuwait. So convenient that in October, I put these two videos beside each other without even knowing that most of the street cats in Kuwait are Arabian Mal's. Pretty convenient. Anyway, back to history. A wide belief of where the Arabian Mal actually came from is someone named Mrs. Petra Mueller lived with at least 50 Arabian Mal's. Hey, cats love editing stage. Um, I actually looked up Petra or Miss Petra Mueller and I came across a post that said that the government or the state police, somebody actually had to take 150 cats out of her house. So there is way more than 50, or at least there's 50 Arabian Mal's, but there's at least 200 cats in her house. Crazy. That is the true definition of a crazy cat lady. All right, to take care of an Arabian Mal grooming wise, you're gonna need to brush their hair once a week with a soft brush. Check their eyes weekly, and if they have any guck or eye boogers, then take a wet cloth and just gently clean the eyes. Health wise, the breed is prone to heart, kidney, and oral health problems. They can also get arthritis, so watch out for that. Make sure to get them like checked by the vet every now and then, just in case they have something bad in their system or in their health, because with all the health problems that they can get, and most of them are pretty bad, I would say maybe a checkup every once a month or every two months or something like that. Feeding the Arabian Mal is pretty easy since the Arabian Mal basically adapted to the desert climate and they ain't picky with food because whatever cat food they can dig up from the sand they will eat. The Arabian Mal is also very trainable. The colors and patterns you can find on Arabian Mal's coat are pretty big variety. The colors you can find on the coat are black, white, gray, brown, and red. The most common coat patterns you can find on the Arabian Mal are tabby and spotted but even if you find an Arabian Mal with a coat pattern that I didn't mention because I only mentioned the common ones, then the Arabian Mal is still most likely going to be spotted. Want some more info or just want to watch more videos on the Arabian Mal? Well, if so, here's some YouTube videos I recommend about the Arabian Mal. Arabian Mal, Cats 101 by Animal Planet. Facts about the Arabian Mal by Relax My Cat. Uh, they're basically a YouTube channel that makes music to relax your cats and to help them sleep. Arabian Mal 101, Myths and Facts by Kitten Life. Plus, I would recommend visiting Petmoo. It's basically a website that I got a lot of information from while studying for this episode. So if you are interested in cat breeds or if you just want to know some information about your cat breed, I would recommend visiting Petmoo. 
All right, final segment. Here's some facts about the Arabian Mal's characteristics and just the breed in total. The size and weight of an Arabian Mal is 9 to 16 pounds for male and 8 to 14 pounds for female. These are pretty big cats. Their lifespan is 12 to 14 years and their temperament is loving, trustworthy, and affectionate. And they're known to be the sand cats of all cat breeds. Thanks for watching. This has got to be one of the oldest cat breeds I've covered, except for the Aphrodite Giant. Pretty convenient how last cat breed profile talked about the oldest cat breed I'm covering, and then this cat breed profile right after is covering one of the other oldest cat breeds. I mean, pretty weird placement with the street cats in Kuwait and the, you know, all these episodes. Anyway, speaking of the street cats in Kuwait, stay tuned next week. And if you like the cat breed profile series, then stay tuned because I'm pretty sure at the end of February, I'm talking about the Asian cat. Thanks for watching. This has been Cat's Love. See you next step. Whoa. I've fallen in sand. Oh no, oh no. Now there's a lady with 50 Arabian mouths walking towards me.